This video is all about the correct way to tie down your ATV or side-by-side. -side. Now, if you're tying down in an enclosed trailer and the tie downs come loose, the machine's gonna bounce around and cause some damage. And if you're tying down to a flatbed trailer, the machine can actually come off the trailer. So for those reasons, we're gonna show you the correct way to tie down your ATV or side-by-side. Some trailers aren't gonna give you the option, but when you drive your machine onto the trailer, first thing you wanna do is make sure a lot of the weight is centered over the axle with a little more weight towards the front of the vehicle. That's gonna help with towing stability. Once you have the machine in the correct spot, then you can apply the parking brake or just put it in park. So for most machines, the tie down points are gonna be at a low spot on the frame. So this machine, we have them right and left side right here. It's gonna be in a similar spot on the front and we need to have a secure point on the trailer to tie down to as well. So if you don't have a secure spot to tie down to, we do have options for you on our website that you can add to your trailer. Um, our trailer, it already has these hooks. So we'll hook our tie down here. And this is just the Rider Cargo tie down we're using. It has a soft tie built into it. And that way you're not gonna scratch up your frame. It also makes tying down the machine a little bit easier. So once that's all set up, we're just gonna take the slack out of the strap. You want the strap to be straight or as straight as possible. A little twist is fine, but if you have a ton of twists in there, you wanna take those out. And then we're just gonna ratchet this down a couple of clicks. So at this point, we're gonna attach the other three tie downs and once they're all attached, we can start tightening everything down evenly. And we do recommend always using four tie downs per machine. A few things I wanna point out are when we were tying everything down, we avoided any sharp areas that could possibly cut this strap while we're transporting the vehicle. And we also did a tie down point that's gonna be a straight shot to our machine. That's gonna hold this thing secure. And if you have any leftover length on your strap, you wanna make sure you tie this up, whether it's just tying a slip knot up by the ratchet, or if you have enough length, you can actually run this down to the bottom of that hook and then tie it up down here. But the main point is you just don't want a ton of strap flapping around in the wind while you're driving. And one last thing, it's a good idea to rock the machine side to side and make sure everything really is tied down securely before you lift up your gate and drive off. So we're gonna check that. This thing's looking good, so we're ready to go ride. Now, if you're tying down multiple machines, your tie down points on the machine might look a little different than what's in your owner's manual, but Usually if you go from the frame, it's gonna be a safe bet. You just wanna avoid any sharp edges, pinch points, or any wires that could be damaged. And just like the first machine we showed you, on each machine, we're gonna use four tie downs. And you also wanna avoid tying down from any suspension components. And you don't wanna be the guy that loops the tie down over the roof and tightens it down. You wanna to try to keep the tie down on a low point on the frame, and then tie it down to a secure spot on the trailer. As I mentioned earlier, tying down your machine in an enclosed trailer is gonna be the same process. The only difference on this trailer, we have the E-Track installed, makes it really simple to change your mounting locations. The last thing we wanna talk about is loading your ATV into the back of your truck. The biggest mistake people make with this is hitting that rear window and breaking it. So just make sure you don't go too far forward. Again, we're gonna be using four tie downs. The difference is gonna be, we're gonna use the same hookup point on the front, but we're gonna run those tie downs to the back. And then same thing on the back. We're gonna hook those tie downs up back there, but we're gonna run them to the front and they're just gonna be in a crisscross pattern and that's gonna hold the machine securely. You might have to choose different mounting points on your machine. Just go to the frame if you can, try to avoid any suspension parts or sharp corners. 
And that's it for the correct way to tie down your ATV or side-by-side. -side. If you need the tie downs or any other trailer accessories, you can find those on our website. And be sure to leave your tips and tricks down in the comments below. Maybe you can help somebody else out. And for more helpful content like this, subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles, thanks for watching.